Drawn to Death is an online third-person arena shooter with a ton of artistic backing and solid gameplay. It's a shooter with some charm, and that's what really stands out about it. If you've ever been that kid in school who used to draw characters in your notebook, like I was, then this game is that brought into reality. The game basically starts in class with your teacher telling you some crap about CPR, but who cares about that? Life-saving? How about some good old death and destruction? After an encouraging look from one of your cute classmates, it's onto the notepad for some drawn action. This game has two main aesthetics, playing notebook drawings that have come to life and raw, immature dialogue. It is not for the super serious. I know I keep mentioning the look and feel of this game, but honestly, it's what drew me to it, pun intended. It's like Mad World or Killer7, both games that have unique graphic styles, and this does as well. You're basically playing sketches on a notebook that gives this game a fresh feel. Okay, so the graphics and art style are cool. What about the gameplay? Drawn to Death plays a lot like your typical online third-person arena shooter, but with a few extras similar to other games I enjoy, such as Overwatch and Mario Kart. Allow me to explain. There are several characters to choose from, as well as weapons, sub-weapons, and throwing weapons to boot. But that's not all. Much like Overwatch, each character has some additional traits exclusive to them, such as an alternate move and specials. While each character only has one alternate move, such as Ninja's grappling line and Johnny's dive kick, they make this up by having two specials, each with their own cooldown time. Speaking of, there are six characters to choose from. Johnny Savage, not to be mistaken with Johnny Napalm from Guitar Hero, who uses the power of punk rock. Diabla Tijuana, a demonic cowgirl. Ninja, a Kanoichi who has the body of a human and the head of a shark. That's freaking badass, man. With the ability to zip along her grappling line and summon sharks to blast her enemies. Then there's Cyborgula, who is a cyborg vampire that can fly and turn his head into a bat launcher. Alan, the game's poster boy who sports a chainsaw and can go invisible. And Bronco, the token military guy who has a drone and a rocket launcher. Matches are fought in several different arena locations against other players. Sadly, this game is lacking on the game modes and rooms are limited to four players. Not only that, but the loading times are abysmal. You have to load for updates on launch, load to find a room, load in and out of matches, and sometimes you're waiting quite a bit. Like Overwatch, it sometimes takes a bit to find a match. Your only options to play are deathmatch and deathmatch-like games and games are played until someone reaches 10 kills. If you find yourself struggling in a match, luckily there is a system similar to Mario Kart that gives you a boost if you're behind, where your health is doubled and your specials are supercharged so you can rain death on your opponents. This helps balance sometimes one-sided matches. Like a lot of arena or hero shooters these days, you've got the ability to level up or purchase loot in the form of mystery boxes. On top of that, you can also earn blood keys, which will unlock weapons, skins, and other stuff. Leveling up also unlocks these things, as well as you can get additional XP or blood by fulfilling challenges. Mystery boxes can be bought or earned every 150 kills, which to some might prove to be a little steep of an unlock price, but with all the other ways you can earn stuff, it's a minor complaint. Drawn to Death is a fun shooter and a great time waster. I often use this game as my wait for updates game, as it's perfect to get in a few matches while that's going on. The charm may not be enough for some people, but it's also got some solid gameplay with a few minor quirks. And actually, this game just came out this month, so it's brand new and it's currently available for free on PSN for PlayStation Plus members. So snag it while you can. Anyways guys, this has been another Quick Hunts review. I'll see you next time.